So, working in the garden, I'm getting mosquito bites already. And uh, they're very itchy, and I'm not self-disciplined to not scratch them. And I remember hearing somewhere that if you can suffocate it, it won't itch. So, if you keep oxygen off of it somehow. So, let's, let's, let's do a little bad science. Okay, this is not working. I am still itchy. This is not working. I'm still so itchy. And now, I'm sticky. I think this trick has worked. A hot spoon, it's hot water, go dog. supposed to like kill the venom poison what do you call it that mosquitoes give you their saliva that makes you itchy hey everyone Kathleen here I have to tell you the wartime rationing was too much and I broke I broke we bought grapes from Chile we bought bananas from Ecuador we bought prepared yogurt, most importantly. We bought cereal. We bought bagels and cereal and cereal. Cereal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just, I got really tired of weighing everything out and keeping track. Trying to keep track of every single thing we've eaten, everything we're allowed. It was really exhausting. I, I, I'm glad I did the wartime ration experiment. I learned that those ladies were tough. They were hard workers and I'm a yuppie and I am like soft. They had grit, you know? I've been working in the garden as much as I can. It's a busy time, spring, right? I, I, and I love it. But I can only do two things. You know, I can either cook and clean or I can clean and garden or I can garden and take care of kids. I I can't I can't go work out in the garden and then come in and make a meal from scratch. I'm so soft. We've just got a lot kind of going on. I have these honey frames that are just screaming at me trying to get things going. Things going. Going. Lots of compost. Man, my back hurts. Oh, compost. <laughs> uh, I, I learned so, some good recipes. The baked oatmeal uses, you know, very little of the rationed ingredients, yet it tastes good and satisfies. I think that's really the only recipe I got out of this. <laughs> so, anyways, wartime rationing, it's over. And you know what? People in the 50s, they splurged a lot too. There was, a, you know, a big influx of, of packaged goods and gluttony after the war was over. So I, I, uh, we just had a short war. That's all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheeky butt cheekies!